Okay, welcome to class everyone. We are on chapter one and the first problem we're going to look at is problem number one about the worm journey. A worm is at the bottom of a 12 foot wall and every day the worm crawls up three feet but at night it slips down two feet. How many days does it take the worm to get to the top of the wall? So here is how we can look at it. Remember we have to start with zero and so when we look at day one um, the worm's going to go up three feet but then at night slip back down too. So the, the net result is going to be one. So the next day on day two, up three and down two. This is day two, day three, day four, day five, we're at um, number five, day six, day seven, day eight, day nine see on day nine we're at um nine feet but what happens on day 10 on day 10 the worm goes up three feet so that's why it only takes 10 days to the worm for the worm to get to the top of the 12 foot wall okay so that's problem number one now let's look at problem number two we're talking about a roberto going shopping in a large department store with many floors he enters the store on the middle floor. So if this is considered the middle floor right here, he enters the store. Then what happens uh, from a skyway and immediately goes to the credit department. After making sure his credit is good, he goes up three floors to the housewares department. So here he's going up three floors to the housewares department. Then he goes down five floors, and here we are down here to the children's department. Then he goes up six floors, so we're gonna go back up six floors to the TV department. And he finally goes down 10 floors, go down 10 floors, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 floors. And then he leaves um, on, on the first floor, then he's on the first floor and he leaves to um, to another store down the street. How many floors do, does the department store have? So if this is the first floor and we found out that seven is the middle floor, then that means that if this is the middle floor, we go down one, two, three, four, five, six to get to the first floor, and we go up one, two, three, four, five, six to get to the 13th floor. So the store has 13 floors. Okay, let's go to number three, the bouncing ball. What's happening here? We have it dropped 160 feet, and then it goes up halfway to 80, but then it goes down 80. So now we have 160 plus 80 plus 80. And then it goes up 40 and down 40, that's 80 more. And then it goes up 20, half the distance, and down 20. And then it goes up 10 and down 10. And when we add all of those together, we're going to get uh, 460 feet. Okay, the next problem is about the floor tiles. Now what we want to do here is, let me turn the page so we can get to the problem. The floor tiles, how many nine inch square floor tiles are needed to cover a rectangular floor that measures 12 feet by 15 feet? So if we have 15 feet here times 12, we have 180 inches. And then we have 12 feet times 12 um, inches in each foot. So we have 144 inches. So that's our total um, area. Would be uh, 180 times 144. So we can do it like this and multiply it out and get 25,920. Or we can um, go ahead and look at, okay, if we have a nine by nine tile, that's gonna be 81, 81 square inches in each tile. So we have to divide the total number by 81 and then we get 320 tiles. So here are um, some of the answers. And I hope these uh, answers help you as you revise your work. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.